Hi everyone, I'm Dion. And I'm Monica, Dion's mum. <laughs> and today we are making ratatouille. Now the reason that ratatouille is such a great one for this festive season is because of the colour. It's so vibrant and red and looks beautiful on the table. And delicious to eat. And it, obviously everything that, we everything that we make tastes delicious as well. So let's get started. Okay, so what I have done is um, cut three capsicums, red capsicums, cored them, taken out the pips and removed the stem. So that's three. It's good to do them um, not too thin. Um, what would this be, a centimetre? Yeah, about a, a centimetre. About a centimetre. And that way they won't break easily um, as they soften. One onion that has been um, peeled down. and sliced into circles and one clove of garlic. Then what else you'll need is some salt, oil, and um, I like to use organic concentrated tomato paste. So here we go. We'll do a couple of tablespoons of oil. And rice bran oil is a really great one because it has a higher smoking point, so it doesn't oxidize as easily, so it's healthier to cook with at high temperatures. Luckily, the, the onion was already chopped up, so you didn't have to see us crying. Exactly. Yes, please. So, basically what we're going to do is soften the onion uh, so that they're translucent. And then we're going to add in um, the capsicum. I prefer to do this um, this way and then towards uh, the cooking of the capsicum we'll add in the garlic because I don't want the garlic to burn. Burnt garlic is very bitter, it's really not pleasant at all. We'll turn it down because it's a little bit high. Just a few more minutes and then we'll be ready to add the capsicum. I really like this particular type of salt, and you can attest to it, you know, that it's actually a very healthy one. Mm. It's got lots of flavour because it's got all different herbs and spices in it, but much lower in sodium compared to regular salt. Yeah, it's a mix of freshly harvested, organically grown herbs and vegetables uh, with some pure sea salt and iodine, iodine which helps. It has uh, vegetables and herbs such as celery, leek, cress, onion, chives, parsley, lovish, garlic, basil, marjoram, rosemary, thyme and kelp. So it's really gluten free, it's milk free, it's lactose free, it's additives and preservatives free and MSG free. So that's, that's fantastic. Now you should really be getting a commission for all this. <laughs> I should, shouldn't I? And so we're going to now add in the show capsicum. you what the onions look like. And here you can stir it for another minute. And then we're going to add in our tomato paste. I think about 150 grams to 200 grams of tomato paste will, will do. But we can always add more should we need. Because what we really want is for the sauce to be thick and whilst it's cooking down and reducing it will become thick. If you want a, something to hold that with, you just want it to move on. Add a little bit of water just to uh, liquefy the puree. So maybe you want to show like this would be good. So about this consistency, it's quite thick, but it's more like a tomato passato kind of thickness yeah, rather and we, than tomato paste. And we may add a bit more water to it as we continue on. And I think I'll put about half a cup of water again. It's 
me see. It's not fully covered in liquid, it's just just down the bottom. And now we just keep stirring until all the capsicums soften. So in a large fry pan, um, saucepan, anything that has got a lid, uh, you can put all of these wonderful ingredients together. I think, Dion, I'm going to, I've decided I'm going to use the rest of this tomato paste. So it's 300 grams in total because I just think that it would look nicer to have a little bit more of the sauce. more than and just use water to remove any excess of this uh, puree or paste and let's add it so now we'd say it would be uh, approximately three quarters of the capsicum contents have been now covered and I'm going to now add a little bit of the garlic let's say half a clove will do and obviously for people who um, who cannot tolerate onion and garlic Perhaps you could use uh, just the capsicums with the passata or um, concentrated tomato paste and put some uh, basil and some eggplant that um, can soften down to give the extra flavour. You know, it's about being adaptable and versatile. And one good tip is that you can buy in the supermarket garlic infused olive oil that is suitable for people who have fructose intolerance. So you can use that olive oil to cook in and it will still give a bit of a garlic flavor without anyone having the adverse effects from eating the garlic. That's good to know. Yeah. I like um, glass lids. So you can actually, with a little steaming point there, so you can actually sort of um, quick, quickly cook all of this. It takes um, less time. And also you can see what's happening. And from time to time you pick it up um, and stir. So how long do you think this needs to cook for? I think we're going to time it now. <laughs> I always do it just by... Uh, Approximately five minutes? Oh no, I think it's longer than that. I think, you know, do it really well. It'll be at least 15 minutes. 15 because, minutes and then because, check it? Because what you need is that the capsicum rings to soften. Okay. So we'll leave it for a while and then we'll check and see how it's going. Yeah, you can see... You just don't want it to get too thick. And from time to time... If uh, you do accidentally leave it too long, could you just add a bit of water? To of course, it? of course, yes. Absolutely. And then at the very end, uh, because tomato paste being a concentrated tomato paste, although it has been diluted with um, some water, it is quite sour to taste. Um, so... We'll actually add salt to taste now. So most probably it would be a good teaspoon of salt. But I don't like my things very salty. For everyone, I think that they should taste it. And then at the end, um, half a tablespoon of sugar. It can be coconut sugar. It can be stevia. It can be... Um, normal sugar, brown sugar, anything just to take that sort of sour note Would it away. work with honey? Um, although honey is um, healthier, I don't think that the actual flavour um, works. works with this, but perhaps maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Many options. Alright, 
so we'll be back to show you the finished product soon.